two faces on attack. You're one of the the, 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 the returners. What has it been like uh, kind of getting chemistry with some of these new faces and uh, new people? Of course, a lot of us have different style of plays, but uh, we have Leah who just came in, who's just named All-American uh, preseason list. And then we also have Allie, who's also up top with us. And it's just really great to have people who can come in and just adapt really quick and also help with us because we're also a really good offensive transitional team. So it's really exciting. Yeah, uh, what's, who, who, um, who, besides for those two, or, or what, what do those two bring a little bit to uh, the offensive attack? Uh, definitely, Leah brings IQ. Uh, she's really good in the midfield and she's able to play those through balls because we do have, like myself, quick boards or people out wide like me and Mia. So those balls are really critical for us and it really helps us get those crosses those crosses across for our teammates. And um, also Ali, she's just really pivotal up top. She's uh, she's really quick and uh, she moves a lot. So it's really good to have a nine up there who brings that to the, our team as well. What do you feel like you've learned about, you know, your your team and, and kind of your position group uh, through the first three exhibition matches? Of course, we had two goals in two games. Uh, uh, of course, Rice was only 45 minutes, but when we came out, we were able to score in the first 10 minutes. And then SMU, we were able to score in about the first five minutes. So just getting that quick start against teams, especially when uh, we're away or at home, uh, just that first goal in the first five minutes is really critical and it changes the game. What are maybe a couple of things you guys are hoping to really, you know, hone in on uh, through these first few matches in non-conference play? Of course, this year, our word is now. Uh, last year, we had a tough start. Uh, we, def we definitely had some difficult opponents, but this year we have a really good non-conference schedule. So just going out in every single game is now. It's to win and to start SEC off with a good start. Uh, talk about playing against Coach Kogut. Uh, definitely. Uh, Nathan was um, our volunteer assistant coach when he was here, and he was really pivotal with helping me grow as a player and um, also my teammates as well. Um, so it'll be really good to see him in the head coach position role and also just to play against him just to show how well we've been growing as players and we're now seniors. Uh, what, uh, uh, I know y'all lost a few players, especially up front. How important was it to get for the coaching staff to go out to the transfer portal and bring some people in to kind of bolster that? Definitely, we lost some really good players, so it was pivotal that the coaches brought in uh, exceptional players. And so I think they did a great job finding people who are great people on and off the field. And I feel like the chemistry is just constantly growing and you can tell on, on the field as well, you hear a lot of people talking, communicating, and it's just something good to see the first two games and now going to our first regular season game. When you are bringing in some new players on, on, on the front end of things, what is what is some of the biggest challenges in, in communication? Like, what do you usually find is the hardest part that you'll have to work on and, and get honed in for the start of the season? Sometimes it could just be learning how to talk to players, how to work with players, um, learn their personalities. Uh, some people like the ball in space, some people like the ball to their feet. Uh, so just talking to one another or also just in practice, we try different things. We try playing the ball in front of them, playing the ball to them, and whatever they like, uh, that's how we kind of hone to one another and we learn each other's uh, style of play. Is there a game in particular in your non-conference schedule that you're looking towards as like the biggest test, whether that be because it's on the road or because it's against a really good team? Uh, of course, it's TCU. It's always TCU because uh, they're a great opponent. We play them every year and we both know each other's style of play. And so this year we'll have to see you at home. And so our goal is to go out and do what we do and win. You mentioned uh, wanting to be here and now. Um, you know, are there any indicators that you guys are, are really, you know, doing that re well right now? Uh, yeah, we have an older team this year. So we have uh, 13 seniors, 5th year uh, seniors as well. And so, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, like you have one more year, you have one more match. So it's like you never know when your last game may be. And so our time is now. Uh, this is the year for us. I mean, we have a really good team. We have the numbers. We have the depth. And so the goal is to go out and win every game. I mean, we won an SEC championship. That's what we all came here for. And so the goal is to do this right now. All righty. Thanks again.